Buongiorno from sunny Italy, specifically Avila, Sicily. And my name's Tony, and welcome to The Clueless Farmer. So about four and a half years ago, I moved to Italy with the thought of, you know, I ought to buy a farm. And then I said to myself, you're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't even grow toenails. What are you going to try to grow a farm? So I said, that's crazy. So I bought a house, was living my life nice and happily. I met a couple from the UK who moved to Sicily and they bought a farm. And that farm had 250 olive trees, they had pomegranates, they had lemon, and it was beautiful. And these people were taking care of it. And I said, hey, I could probably do that. And then I said, no, you can't, you're an idiot. So time went by, two years ago, almost to the day, a friend of mine asked me if I would come up and look at this property that a woman in town owned. She said the woman was 80 years old, the property was in her family for more than 100 years, and she had three kids, 10 grandchildren, none of them wanted the property, and she was very, very depressed because she wasn't able to keep up the farm. So I said, sure, I'll go up and look at it. Maybe we'll, Maybe I know somebody who's looking, maybe I know somebody who's interested, I'll ask around. Well, that was my downfall because I walked up here and in 10 seconds I knew I was gonna buy the farm, not in the American sense. Um, so I bought the farm. I still have no idea what I'm doing. It's two years later, I've got 150 trees, well, she had 140 trees on this property. She had 50 olive trees and 90 assorted fruits and nuts. You name it, she had it. Oranges, lemons, uh, figs, apples, pears, peaches, cherries, sour cherries, apricots, prunes, or plums. Plums, see, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, almonds, walnuts, quince, nespola, um, sure, I'm missing a bunch of other things, but you name it, crab apples. She has it all. Um, so now I'm the proud owner of 150 trees because I said, well, geez, if she's got 140, 140 is good. 150 must be better. So I planted uh, two new peach trees, two new lime trees, three avocado trees, two mango trees, and who knows what else. Uh, I guess we'll all find out together. So as my tagline says, please come here to be entertained and not educated. You might learn something, but that should definitely not be the reason you're tuning into this channel. Uh, there are a lot more smarter people and, 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 and know what they're doing here. So a little bit about the farm, aside from all the trees, there's, there's a lot of land to plant vegetables. I had tomatoes, onions, garlic, peppers, all did really well. Zucchini, not so much, um, but that's probably more on me than the land. Um, Artichokes, ooh, great place for artichokes. So I, I did have some really good artichokes two years ago. This year didn't have that good of a crop, but then I read that you're supposed to change them out every four to five years. So I'm I'm telling myself anyways, that it was just the life cycle of the artichokes. Uh, but stick around, check out some of my videos that I'll be posting. I'll try to do a series on like fig trees, olive trees, lemons and whatnot. And uh, you can follow my adventures. Um, in addition to the farm here, you can see there's a little bit of a property, a building here. Um, it was a home that she was living in during the summers, um, but then she had it partially demolished because it wasn't supposed to be here. Um, so she got nervous and she had it demolished before she sold it, unfortunately. Um, I was able to rebuild the bathroom. So I have a bathroom with a full shower. Um, the downstairs area, which would, we would consider to be a basement, uh, is where I keep all my tools. I have my refrigerator is in there as well, so I can eat up here. Um, I'm not going to show you now because i got to keep you coming back. But on the other side of the house, she had a wood-burning brick oven. Yes, that's right. Okay, that's the good news. Bad news is I've tried to cook pizza in there, and I absolutely suck. But I'm going to get better because i got at least 10 more years of life back here before I have to by the farm. So stick around, watch some videos. Again, this is kind of a cross between Green Acres and Under the Tuscan Sun. And um, maybe you'll learn something. Hopefully you'll laugh. Ciao.